Hi everyone, today we've got a Volvo XC60 in for a headlamp malfunction warning light on the dashboard. So I'll get plugged in and we'll see what's going on. Let's crack on. So I've plugged into it and we've got a code in for the front axle sensor, signal too low, permanent code. So I'm going to get it sent up on the ramp wheel off and we'll have a look at the front axle sensor. Right, so we've got the wheel off. I'll show you what I've found. Nothing to report yet. So this here is the suspension height center. This is what it uses for the headlamp um, alignment. I was expecting to see this broken, to be honest, quite common. And then that will either be pushed all the way up or all the way down and it just knows the signal's wrong. Uh, but that's not the case. It's all still attached. Looks like it's working. Plugs on okay. So I guess the next thing we need to do is do some wiring checks and see if we've got a wiring issue or whether it's going to be the centre itself. It looks a bit crusty and fruity, but that's only the bracket. So, yeah, I'll get a multimeter and a test light and we'll see uh, what we find with the wiring. All right, so we're ready to test the wiring. Um, I've just got two extension wires over from the battery for going onto my test lamp and checking grounds and stuff. Uh, and on the three wire sensor, I've got three probes backed into it. I couldn't find any information on auto data or all data, so I'm just having to make it up as I go along. But it's a fairly simple system, so we should have a, there we go, there's a five volt feed. So we know a five volt feed's good. And we've got nothing at the other two, um, but one of them should be ground. So I use my test light. Want to the green ones go around to so the yellow one must be our signal wire so we know two out of three are good so i've just got a variable resistor yeah so just to simulate the sensor and i'll plug this in Send into it. So I can vary the signal what I want, just twisting. Yeah, so let's just see if now we've got something going through, if it will let us clear the codes. Yep, so that's clear the code. So that's it, we've tested all the wiring. So that's it, we can get on the phone to Volvo and get a sensor ordered. Right, so I rang Volvo. These must be common because they have one on the shelf and they don't normally keep anything on the shelf. So that was good. So we fitted it. Um, but if you're doing this yourself, just make sure you wire brush the hell out of these studs up here and the bolt here um, because it was rusty and crusty as anything and they don't want to come undone. You don't want to snap anything, so just make sure you give it a good clean up before you try and undo it. So, all back together now, so we'll put it, the wheel back on and assemble it and get testing. So, the sensor's all fitted and clear the codes, which wouldn't clear before. The codes were permanent, so they wouldn't clear. Got no warnings on the dash, so happy customer. Hopefully, you'll find this useful because it's pretty much the same sort of system on most cars, not just Volvos, so they all work the same way. So uh, if this video was useful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.